today we have uh, uh, the painting holidays in Italy. And uh, uh, Jana is uh, going to explain about what the holidays are all about. Okay, go ahead and start uh, uh, telling us about your uh, retreat program. Sure, I will. Uh, we've been running in Italy for nearly 12 years now. Uh, we are an English and German uh, couple who have um, come here to Italy with the intention of setting up an art retreat from where we have been running our courses, mainly plein air courses, also um, figurative courses, etc. And those run often in combination with cooking classes, yoga um, classes, etc. So that over the years, we have built a comprehensive program of retreats that run in various parts of Italy, such as our own base, which is the retreat, uh, our guest house with art studio in the heart of the La Marca region, which is central Italy. And we also run courses in Florence, Venice, and other locations throughout Italy. And of course, because of the travel restrictions that we have been experiencing over the year, like many other places, we have also added um, virtual retreats to our program so that this year we're going to offer uh, four day retreats, which we are holding live with live classes, uh, live painting uh, workshops, live cooking classes and uh, painting sips, etc. So that people can, if they um, are able to join us live, depending on their uh, geographic location and the time differences, of course, can either attend live or can complete the retreats in their own time so that we have um, an overall uh, program of 30 um, our workshops uh, in our four day retreats that we're offering and we're taking people to Italy to enjoy the various popular um, destinations and if you'd like I can I've sort of prepared a PowerPoint presentation with a video and stuff that I could run for you so that you get a better idea of visuals etc and what we do. Okay, yeah. great. So that's a good introduction. Uh, so yeah, before uh, starting uh, your presentation, um, I'm curious about, um, so how are you related to John? Is that John uh, Skelter? Uh, John Skelter is my partner and we have uh, many, many years met in England, in the UK, and he's always been uh, an art uh, teacher, an art tutor, as well as a professional artist. And we have uh, later on decided to move to Italy with the purpose of creating this art retreat. So yes, we are. <laughs> we oh, are okay. a team in life as well as in work. Great. <laughs> and and uh, do Italy. you also paint to yourself too? Are you also Unfortunately, artist? Unfortunately, I don't get the time because I organize the program. I am the uh, cooking instructor as well. Oh, so okay. I run the, the cooking part of the courses and I look after our guests. So I do all the hospitality. And maybe one day in my life, I will find time. <laughs> okay, so when, when people join the trip, um, so they get to eat uh, the food that you actually you, you made? Yeah, at the retreat on the courses we run here, yes. I do the cooking, I do the breakfast, I do the aperitivi. So I really look after all their culinary uh, needs and I also run the cooking classes for, oh, those, okay. for, for, the, for those courses that include uh, cooking classes, yes. So you are actually... Uh like a professional chef or did you just I pick have up sort of skills? I have become a chef over the years, shall we say, uh, because of course many travelers, uh, because we get guests from all around the world, come with various dietary needs. And one thing that has only become uh, sort of a, a more current issue in Italy is looking after people's various dietary needs so right. i've learned through doing over the many many years we've been doing this yes so and you're uh specialized in italian cuisine or you do just about anything yes. we do a mediterranean cuisine italian as well as flavors from all around the med so that oh i see so mediterranean cuisine is uh, like uh uh, shawarma you do like uh, exactly, uh greek yes. food um uh, uh 
as well as uh, pasta, spaghetti, and pizza. We do everything because everything. our retreats usually run for up to a week, and right. many travelers do not necessarily want to eat Italian every day. Right. And I have started to focus on looking after people who might have uh, gluten intolerances or celiac or who can't eat various things for religious regions, uh, reasons, because in certain parts of Italy, you still struggle to find um, specific diets for people who can't eat absolutely everything. So yes, I cook Italian for our guests but also cover all the other dietary needs in a Mediterranean, um, um, with Mediterranean flavors, shall we say. So I, I, see. I have a very wide program. That can be Greek, that can be uh, from the, the Middle East even, you know, anything uh -huh. that, will, um, that will really bring that uh, summer feeling to people's uh, place. Right. So John is uh, originally from yeah, England? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to introduce you briefly. Here we oh, go. Oh, okay. Hi, uh, <laughs> oh, hello, John. Hello, Good to see you? you. Good to see you. I was talking with your partner, Yana, and uh, she was uh, boasting about her cooking uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, lessons and stuff. And uh, she didn't really talk very much about you yet because she was so busy talking about herself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no actually, I ask her. I ask her. You know what she's been doing, and uh, well, uh, since you are here, John, uh, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit, especially um, about your art experiences? Well, um, my name's John Sculpture, and um, I've been painting now um, over thirty years, believe it or not. And it's uh, over thirty years. So that means so you've years. been uh, painting since you were five. <laughs> it's i know these zoom cameras are not up to speed in your <laughs> you look about 35 <laughs> okay just so, kidding. so and and i've been teaching probably um since 90 so since 95 so you know well over 20 years and um i'm um well 30 years yeah so i, I I paint in oils and uh, watercolors, but I was trained conceptually, you know, originally. So I've got a degree in fine art, um, but I, I went on to uh, study classical painting in Florence. So that's when my passion really for painting the landscape began. So myself and Yana, we were both teaching in the UK. And then we decided um, over 15 years ago to move from London to this retreat here in Italy. It was a it was a farmhouse, an abandoned farmhouse at that point, and we renovated it together. And then um, we began literally as our last, you know, dollar ran out <laughs> that had been supporting us. We we started our first retreat. And at that point, you know, we had one guest and it was make or break. And uh, then the following week, we had more guests. And then gradually, we've just kind of uh, grew and grew. And um, Jana is a fantastic cook, I have to say. Um, and of course, she's a mother. But no, she really has become this um, amazing um, cook because she's really embraced the Mediterranean food. And I've sort of gone out into the landscape and painted kind of like a a British version of Van Gogh out here. Oh yeah, it, right. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's that, and it's on a, you know, it's on a similar sort of parallel to ours in a way. So we have sunflowers here, um, and then we have the coast, and then we've got the mountains. So you know, in between all of that, I would find myself amongst farmers, people growing olives, people uh, producing wine, and painting within their areas. So. Um, it gave me a lot of experience to paint that that sort of landscape, you know. Right. Um, and um, I guess I've become better and better each year. And there's still more room to 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 increase your skills, of course. Right. And um, you know, I try to find then someone who can teach me. That's why I went to Florence. Um, and then I give that back to my students. So right. yeah, it's a great, great thing, you know. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's a it's a little bit like that cycle. You know, you've got the sunshine, you know, uh, here and the soil, and uh, it's very fertile in every way, really. So I don't know if you've seen my paintings, but I paint with oils and watercolor, and that was something I uh, I thought well. That, that's going to be the skill set you really need, especially for, you know, our American guests who come over because they want to either paint with uh, oils or watercolours. We also um, cater for acrylics because we get travellers who, you know, uh, <laughs> want to paint with acrylics too. So I can paint with acrylics as well. So so I've become a bit of a, you know, um, a specialist in, in those sort of uh, traditional um, landscape painting uh, ways you see so anyway I, yeah. I guess a, a lot about me I was on um, Sky um, uh, Landscape Painter of the Year in 2018 so I couldn't have been too bad to get on the show apparently it's quite uh, difficult to get on that now um, so and then of course COVID occurred and that sort of took the, uh, the yeah I know off. you know it's been for everybody, you know, so we, we can't yeah. really explain specifically, but at that point... Well, we're lucky. We're in Italy, you know, we get to carry on living the yeah, Italian dream. you know, it is. We, we, we are here. Yeah. It's a very remote spot in some ways because, you know, we have one track in, one track out. It's uh, We're surrounded by farmers, probably four in the whole valley here where we are. Oh, but you go to Florence, you go to Venice, you still yeah. carry on painting yeah, on that, right. and we bring it to people that way, you know. So yeah. That, you know, yeah, we, we I mean, run... this is something else that we, we while I was in Florence, I decided um, the academy, I could, could um, yeah, because I studied at the academy. I studied at the Angel Academy in Florence, which uh, um, the maestro, Michael John Angel, uh, runs. It's a very successful program there. And has produced some of the the finest painters, classical realist painters, currently out there, like um, T- uh, Teresa Oaxaca, um, Shane Wolf, Caesar Santos, who's a friend of mine. I went over to Paris to study uh, under Shane Wolf um, um, three years ago. I, I was there with with him at his uh, Paris Academy there. But of course, COVID's taken um, the wind out of their sails as well. So it's all a bit of a, you know, you've got to recreate yourself at this point. So right. myself and Yana, we, um, we, we've, we've embraced this, uh, the virtual um, online teaching. So now um, we both teach online. Uh, and still okay. get people from all around the world. Yeah. We get we get painters in America joining us for the classes. We have children right. from Hawaii for the children courses we run. So it yeah. is still a very global thing. Yeah, yeah. because you whilst don't need a passport have... to get on the online. Yeah, yeah. So whilst we can't have <laughs> you don't have to have here, a vaccination um, proof. Yeah. <laughs> There's no. so many people who still want to be in Italy, you know, and people have been yeah, missing us for such a long time. We wish we could be there with you in this difficult time. Yeah. If yeah so why yeah. don't you why don't you go ahead uh sure. do uh the presentation now okay and then i can also show you a short video of john's teaching maybe just a couple of seconds if yeah you want sure to see that oh yeah very much okay good I'll, i shall just run it from the start and uh you know um we'll, we'll talk over it obviously to explain things so here are a few photos from our view at the retreat um this is our local town of forty you can see which literally we're stepping out of the studio and this is what we're seeing so one year we might have sunflowers in front of the house uh, another year we might have uh you know the wheat growing and we get the beautiful hay bales uh, during the season so our courses have always been centered around seasonal themes in the landscape uh, we paint the wines when they're in season the sunflowers when they're out etc so every month there is a different theme uh, for our painters okay um, and we've, we're proposing for this year um, a couple of dates that we're holding virtual retreat, where we're holding virtual retreats, but also we have our regular in-person retreats ready to go for those people who are able to travel as soon as, um, you know, travel is uh, happening again. So we are running a combination of dates. 
And we thought it would be a fantastic idea to bring people to Italy, uh, let them paint, let them learn to cook, etc. while they can't come or while they might still be worried about traveling. So there is a little bit for everybody. Okay, so we have got uh, four day retreats uh, online, uh, which are live and we're holding the classes live um, in May, the end of May, uh, end of June, end of um, two dates, actually end of June into, into the beginning of August uh, and then two dates during August. So if people are ready to come, we have dates here at the retreat in Venice and in Florence booked. But for those who might be apprehensive about traveling or can't travel yet, we are holding those virtual retreats so that people can still enjoy Italy to the full. And our four day online virtual retreats include watercolor painting in various different Italian locations, cooking lessons focused on those locations. So when we're painting themes in Venice, I will be teaching how to cook specific Venetian dishes. Um, for those days in Florence, for instance, I will be introducing them to the Florentine cuisine so that we're trying to get that Italian feeling going. Um, each afternoon session will also include uh, a sip and paint class where John will be talking about different aspects of watercolor painting to help people through demonstrations and through um, expert talks to improve their painting techniques further. And uh, each day, I'll put it here at the bottom, but each day we're kickstarting with a joint breakfast where people can join us as the start of their retreat day um, to, together with me, prepare Italian themed breakfast. So we have four locations in each of our four day uh, virtual retreats. We're visiting Venice, Florence, our local town of Ascoli Piceno, which is the which has the most beautiful travertine uh, squares in Italy and actually has more historic towers than San, uh, San Gimignano in uh, Tuscany, but few people know about it. So a fantastic opportunity to introduce this gem of a town. And the last day will be virtually spent at the Amalfi and Sorrento. So uh, to give an example of each day, we're starting as set with an Italian breakfast, which we are preparing together and uh, participants will receive two weeks in advance an ingredient list for each cooking class. They will, of course, um, receive uh, a material list for all the art classes so that everybody can prepare in advance for their four days virtual holiday. OK, um, so cooking classes on the day in Venice, for instance, will be preparing classic Italian chichetti, which is a very typical aperitivo that people enjoy traditionally when visiting uh, Venice in the local bars, in the local uh, restaurants, etc. And John will be taking them through uh, a three hour watercolor painting session um, focused on one of the canal themes. And I think in the afternoon, you can probably talk a little bit yourself about the happy hours that you're going to do. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. So um, for, for the, for the Venice uh, course, I'll obviously uh, take on a scene. Um, I've got plenty of resources from the classes that I've taken there already. And <clears throat> it could be somewhere like, um, you know, a, a gondola um, boatyard mm -hmm. as a backdrop. We paint the scene. I talk about maybe the history of the building that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. And of course, the little uh, a, a cafe bar that's right in front of it where you can get your kiketti. And then in the evening, um, you know, after um, Jan has um, done her classic uh, aperitivi and Venetian kiketti uh, um, um, drink and snack, I will do a happy, a sort of happy hour paint and sip style um, uh, demonstration. And, and in that one, I prefer to do something more on a, a more focused, say like a, um, a five uh, value map study to show another aspect of the of the discipline really and that that's more based on the principles um, of my art training and as a landscape painter how you can access you know um, anything like a cityscape or even something as as magnificent as uh, Venice with um, 
you know, uh, looking at the principles, uh, which of course uh, all stem from um, placement, perspective, proportion. Then we look at values, um, color, and finally edge quality. So um, I tackle everything, whether it's watercolors, oils or acrylics in this same um, um, print, uh, from a principal point of view of the classical uh, training. Um, but of course, in the three hour uh, journey, like we take together with the student, um, it tends to go along an impressionistic line. I guess uh, where we're leading to is uh, with the journey through uh, Italy, not just in Venice, um, we're hoping then to give uh, our uh, attendees more for their, their book, really, you know, giving them something that uh, perhaps is more akin to what you would have got on a grand tour in some ways. Um, that's what we're aiming for. Something, something special and wonderful that um, as our retreat goes, we're, we're one of the few to be able to give that because we live here um, genuinely. We are amongst the Italians, so we, we can give them something that's more kind of authentic. That's what we're aiming for. And we hope that your, your, uh, your clients will enjoy that. Um, and that's really, I think, the idea why we're trying to combine different things with the locations we've chosen. So day one, we've just looked at in Venice. Day two, we're looking at a very undiscovered gem in Italy, which uh, is becoming more and more popular. Um, the beautiful town of Ascoli Piceno, which is in the, in the heart of the truffle region here in uh, Le Marche. And uh, we're both always aiming to combine our skills to bring the best to our uh, retreat attendees. So here we're going to look at classic uh, architectural features in this historic town from the perspective of um, drawing and painting. And we're also taking people to a new location that way, but also culinary. Um, I'm, as well as being the retreat chef, I'm also a truffle hunter. So I'm going to introduce people on this, uh, on this uh, day, um, the second day of the retreat, um, to various truffle dishes. So again, they will be re uh, uh, receiving an ingredient list as well as the art material list. And um, after their painting session in Ascoli in the morning, we will then have a go at cooking with truffles. And then John in the afternoon um, in your paint and uh, sip class will be taking people through the, the figure in the landscape because we are in such a beautiful area uh, for landscape painting. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, sounds exciting. Yeah. I mean, so <laughs> full of a uh, fun schedule. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah mean, that's it, really it, the idea. You see, the thing is as well, because um, obviously we could, in, in better times, we could travel around, um, you know, to, to Tuscany, uh, <laughs> Venice, wherever. But, but now um, we're trying to uh, also bring some of that with also this area, La Marque, because um, it does have some incredibly fine wines as well. And the olive oil, all the produce here, it's, it's totally organic. This valley where we live, there's several valleys here, which really are like the bread basket for Italy. Mm -hmm. So the oil that we are taking from, you know, the earth here is, tra is transported around Italy, perhaps even in small amounts around to, to really good restaurants throughout Europe. But, um, you know, it's like a secret. It's a real secret because the Italians want to keep this for themselves, which I can understand. But at the same time, everybody else should know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
And the truffles here, we have truffles in the woods behind the retreat. Jana has two little truffle dogs here. Um, we've got the white and the black. So um, you couple that with the wine, the, the food, these the truffles, the landscapes. I could say it is a bit of a Van Gogh world in a way. And I, I almost feel that if Van Gogh would have known about this area in uh, <laughs> in Italy, well, yeah. it would still be alive today. <laughs> right. To find paint holiday in Italy art workshops, go to directoryforart.com. Directory number four art.com. Here is directoryforart.com website. International directory of art workshops and showcase. If you click on just post the 10 button here, you'll get the most recent postings on the directory. And here is painting retreat live online, painting holiday Italy listing. Click on more info. And here is detailed information about this online workshop. Click on more info link. And here is a painting holiday Italy website. If you go to courses, here is virtual summer retreats. And these are virtual summer retreats offered by Painting Holiday Italy, taught by John. Another way to find Painting Holiday Italy's workshops is <clears throat> on the directory for art.com in the International Directory of Art Workshops and Showcase website. Here's a search art events button. You click on it. And then you can search by categories, subjects, locations, dates, or search by keyword. So let's put painting, holiday, Italy and see what happened when you search it. And here's one posting coming up. Click on it. And then here's a painting retreat from 19th to 22nd August, 2021. And then you go down Click on this more info link. Then again, you go to Painting Holiday Italy website. Here's your online courses. Here's all different courses. Then you see all these wonderful workshops that you can join. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you soon.